the path to knowledge is long. Okay, so I've managed to work out how to flash the EEPROM. Um, I had to change the address from D000 to C800 uh, as the location of the, uh, the EEPROM. And it's just going through now. I'm flashing it with the AT version. Successfully written. Okay. Just restart or whatever you want to do. Now the problem is with the Terra driver, it's also got this DOS in ROM, which I can't seem to disable. Uh, so it sort of gets in the way and then you need to quit to DOS. Which then gives you the... Uh, uh oh, used to give me the XTIDE. Oh god, what was that? It didn't look healthy. Let's try that again. Oh, I broke something, alright. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh well, now I'll give it another go and see where we end up. So what should be interesting to see is if it now boots to the floppy drive that the XTIDE card has been mangled by myself. <laughs> hmm. No, okay, that's cool. Progress will be mine. Okay, so here's where I'm at with the uh, Terra Drive and the XTIDE card. So there doesn't seem to be a way to turn off the uh, uh, DOS in ROM. So can't really avoid this screen at the moment. But drop to DOS. Get all the disks out of the drives and uh, we have this. It can boot to either either the B drive or the the other one, A drive. So that's good. Just got to hammer the B key instead of the A key. Although by default it'll boot to A anyway. Um, but yeah, I need to get the disk on module recognized somehow. And I am at a complete loss and it is pretty late. But I'm making progress because now I can boot to floppy disks. Which I couldn't do before. Progress is progress. Now the B drive is the A drive and the A drive is the B drive. It's not confusing. If I run BIOS drives, I don't think I get anything. Yeah. Just empty. I used to get something. I don't know what I changed to stop it. Getting something. But uh, that's alright. Yeah, so there's all my settings. If anyone has any ideas, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribing's about the coolest thing you could do.